The one available episode of The Space Pirates, episode two, demonstrates an able direction, decent production values, and a vigor from Troughton, Hines, and Padbury, which is very characteristic of them. It demonstrates why this trio is... It's arguably the finest set of doctoring more than one companion in the history of the show. I'm trying to think of, of a superior companion. I mean, you can talk about how great Fourth Doctor and Sarah Jane together are, Fourth Doctor and Leela, um, Seventh and Ace. I'm very partial to Third Doctor and Joe Grant myself, as I've probably insinuated before, as well as that image of Katie Manning with the Dalek. You know the one if you're a true Doctor Who fan. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is superlative chemistry between the three of these actors and I don't think there is another instance with yes as I said more than one companion and things are just kind of working as effectively as they are here Fifth Doctor for example that's a bit too many companions at one point you've got Adric and Nyssa and Tegan you could have I hate to, hate to slag the fellow Australian, but I reckon you could have cut Tegan. Miss is like Zoe. She's extremely useful and understands what the Doctor is saying. She's got sufficient scientific knowledge of her own. Someone's going to point out, well, so does Adric. Well, Adric was far more annoying and, and he died. Nissa, Nissa lived for the state of the Doctor some, some time more. In any instance, I suppose you can gather from this sped up rendition of the Space Pirates there is a potential here, and if it were available for six episodes, we'd like it more. Hell, if it was just a four-episode serial, we'd think, this is pretty solid, niche, fun, prototype, frontier in space. As it stands, it's something of a disappointment and a missed opportunity, but that's a lot to do with the serial being missing. And as I insinuated in the first episode, it's difficult to enjoy as an audio drama because we have Doctor Who audio dramas which have limitless imaginations, there's no logistical ceiling on top of what a big Finnish audio play can do, right? Or like a novel. And so as a result, the Space Pirates isn't so magnificent as a plotline. Although, as a production, as an executed realisation of a series of scripts, it's not so bad. Though the scripts are kind of maybe a bit uncharismatic, we could say. In any instance, I hope you enjoyed the sped-up rendition of the Space Pirates Part 2. We'll be discussing behind-the-scenes information in 3 and 4. God knows what we'll do in 5 and 6. Maybe we'll talk about the history of Robert Holmes a bit more, or maybe we'll be discussing Patrick Trout and himself. I don't think we, we, we... At one point, we discussed William Hartnell's biography when we were doing First Doctor, because there's, there's only so much you can say about some of these episodes sometimes. I opted to do individual episodes rather than the entirety of a serial because I just thought that was more fair and accurate to the experience of watching one of these things. If you, well, firstly, these episodes, these serials would have been viewed one episode at a time on a weekly basis. I'm doing it on a daily basis, so that's not even a quite an accurate kind of contemporary simulation of what it would have been like then, obviously, and there's many other factors at play, as we know. But also... Even when you're watching it down in one sitting, you're watching it with the cliffhangers and you feel the length if you're at episode six or five and you're thinking, gee, this has been going on for a while. That's why I feel as though it was important to distinguish because it is a distinct, different experience than just watching a very long episode of a TV show, so it's 50 minutes or so, or a feature film. It's paced differently. So I think you do have to judge these things as a collection of episodes rather than one particular storyline. I know I have discussed certain film serials as an individual FOTD, but they were film productions. They were intended for screening in cinemas, and people watch them now as feature films. They're not television episodes in the same way. And we will close it here. We're nearing a five-minute mark. Thanks again, everyone. I appreciate it very, very immensely.